Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. Well, before I share the forecast with you, I want to tell you about something happening in the sky this weekend that you might want to catch, and it's uh, going to be kind of interesting. Hopefully, we won't have any clouds blocking our view, but the full moon for May will rise on Sunday evening. It's called the flower moon, but this particular full moon will also be a super moon. That's when the moon is a little closer to Earth than usual, and so it appears a little bit bigger and brighter. It's also called a blood moon because there will be a total lunar eclipse that will give it that reddish glow. The moon will rise around oh, just a little before 9 o'clock Sunday evening, and the eclipse will start around 9.30 Sunday evening. So to catch a glimpse of it, be sure and uh, take a look around 9.30. Now, the eclipse will start earlier than that, but the total eclipse begins at 9.30, and it will reach its peak a little after 10 o'clock and then start to diminish a little before 11 o'clock. So a good chance to see a lunar eclipse as long as we can keep the clouds away. Meanwhile, looking at the mountain areas, clearing up over into the mountain areas around McCall today. Lots of blue sky and sunshine there. And here in the valley, we ended up with some clearing after the morning rain. But over the foothills of the mountains, it's still mostly cloudy. And temperatures at 53 degrees right now in Boise. Northwest winds at 10 miles per hour. And uh, Storm Tracker is showing that most of the showers associated with that weak front when it went through have diminished quite a bit across the area. A few little isolated sprinkles and showers here and there, but mainly just some clouds moving through, breaking up from the west for now. But we will be seeing more coming our way. We've had just under a quarter inch of rain from last evening into this morning here in Boise. That front pushing on farther to the east, a little drier air behind it through the afternoon, but the next system is already pushing moisture on shore. Rain showers will be hitting into our area later on tonight, and that air mass will be very moist, but a little bit warmer as it moves through. So rain for Saturday morning, and then clearing up with much milder conditions on through the weekend. In fact, downright warm, the warmest day of the year so far. Futurecast is showing the clouds increasing this evening. Rain showers developing early in the morning and then continuing through the morning until about 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon before it starts to clear up. Snow levels above 6,000 feet. Magic Valley, you probably won't see much from it at all. And then the high pressure builds in. By Sunday evening, though, it'll be warm enough that thunderstorms forming in eastern Oregon will drift into our area during the evening and keep us under a slight threat of showers on into early next week, but overall a warmer pattern. So the forecast for the Magic Valley is calling for temperatures into the low 60s, generally partly cloudy skies today, central mountain areas in the low 50s in Sun Valley and Haley, mid to upper 40s around Stanley for an isolated snow shower there. But McCall, Donnelly and Cascade seeing an end to the rain. Rain showers might pop up in the afternoon here and there, but overall temperatures in the upper 40s to near 50. Treasure Valley, the rain has ended. Partly cloudy skies expected. Temperatures in the low to mid 60s this afternoon. 63 in Boise. So clouds and sunshine the rest of the day. Rain tonight through tomorrow morning and a high of 70 in the afternoon. Warming up to 83 degrees, the warmest day of the year now for Sunday and then a slight chance of showers uh, Sunday evening and then staying in the mid to upper 70s on through the first part of next week with showers by about Thursday.